Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support and today I'm going to go over how to program your Starlink commercial radio when reporting to a SureGuard IP receiver. We're going to start by pulling the account up on the NapcoNoc2.com and make sure that jumper number one is off the radio to ensure the download goes through. We're going to start by clicking edit, go down to dealer entered programming, IP address and port, and this is where we're going to type in the IP address of our central stations SureGuard receiver, followed by the port number. Next is the key. This is the receiver generated encryption key. If you're not given one by your central station, just fill in the boxes with all zeros. Next is going to be the, Aden the DNS and the account number if you have a DNS. If there is no DNS, you're just going to start by going with six zeros. and followed by the four digit account number. If we do have a DNS number, we're going to type that in first, followed by the account number. Now we do have the SureGuard advanced options for the bigger receivers, three, four, and five. If you have a leading zero, like I have in this case, or if your central station requires a trailing zero, so we identify what exact digits the DNS number are, are. Next, we're going to have to set the UL polling fail timeout. Now remember, it's very important when you're reporting to a SureGuard receiver, the receiver is responsible for the supervision if the radio fails. The pings from the radio go from the radio to the NAPCO knock and then through to your central station's receiver. So it's very important you check with your central station of the polling timeout or the de failure to bounce time set on the receiver or the line card. It needs to match the UL polling fail timeout you selected in your plan. Also we can click on the copy the primary IP address um, to the advanced tab. This is used for in the radio inputs or the radio only generated signals that we want to send to central station. Once that's all set we click on the save button and download the changes to the radio. Now anytime we make change, changes to an IP section of the radio going to a SureGuard or a new radio, once we save the changes we always want to click on the Reset Central Station Account. This will send information to the receiver and also supervise it immediately. For more information you can always visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.